Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Tuesday, December the 5th. It's the first week of Advent and week one in our psalm cycle. And we are also beginning year two in the lectionary cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 5 and 6, and Matthew 21, verse 12 to 22. And now join me in singing the first verse of Once He Came in Blessing. Once He came in blessing, all our ills redressing, came in likeness lowly, Son of God most holy, bore the cross to save us, hope and freedom gave us. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Hallelujah. Psalms 5 and 6, and please recite them with me. Hallelujah, give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. Listen to the voice of my cry, my ruler and my God, for I pray to you. Hear my voice in the morning. I look up and offer you my prayer. For you do not take pleasure in wickedness, and neither shall evil dwell with you. The foolish shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of evil. You shall destroy them that speak lies. You abhor the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But as for me, I will come into your house. In the greatness of your mercy and in your fear, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O God, in your righteousness. Because of my enemies, make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouths. Their hearts are absolute wickedness. Their throats are open graves. They flatter with their tongues. Destroy them, O God. Let them fail, fall by their own counsels. Cast them out for their many transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all that put their trust in you rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let them that love your name be joyful in you. For you bless the righteous, and surround them with favor like a shield. O God, do not rebuke me in your anger, neither chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, for I am weak. Heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is racked with pain, and you, O God, how long? Return and rescue me. Save me for your love's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave, who shall give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All the night long I drench my pillow with tears, and I soak my bed with weeping. My eye is consumed because of grief. I grow old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you evildoers, for the Most High has heard my weeping. The Most High has heard my plea, and God will accept my prayers. Let all my enemies be ashamed and confounded. Let them retreat in sudden shame. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Give ear to my words, O God, and consider my meditation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 21, beginning at verse 12. Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who were selling and buying in the temple. And he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of robbers. The blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he cured them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the amazing things that he did, and heard the children crying out in the temple, Hosanna to the son of David, they became angry 
and said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read? Out of the mouths of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise for yourself. And he left them, and he went out of the city to Bethany, and he spent the night there. In the morning, when he returned to the city, he was hungry. And seeing a fig tree by the side of the road, he went to it and found nothing at all on it but leaves. And then he said to it, May no fruit ever come from you again. And the fig tree withered at once. When the disciples saw it, they were amazed, saying, How did the fig tree wither at once? And Jesus answered them, Truly I tell you, if you have faith and do not doubt, not only will you do what has been done to this fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, Be lifted up and thrown into the sea, it will be done. Whatever you ask for in prayer with faith, you will receive. Here ends the lesson. We place our hope in you, for with you is mercy and plenteous redemption. Every day we bless you. We praise your name forever and ever, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Let us pray. Count us not among the foolish, O God. May we fear your name and be joyful in your love and worship in your house. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.